Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you how to create a curtain and simulate a stage opening effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. In this timeline, I have my logo above a red solid background clip. We will first convert them to the look of a stage curtain. Go to the Generators folder in the Effects panel, drag a texture background to the timeline. Select the texture clip and go to the inspector. There are six pre-built versions of the background. The version six is the one with the look of a curtain. Switch to the gradient tab in the inspector. Change the gradient type to uni. Change the second gradient color to dark red. Move the first black color all the way to the left. Pretty good curtain looking, but a bit too dark. Move the red color to the left, around 0.66. This is not bad, we can continue to play around with the parameters to have the best result we like. For example, in the Controls tab, we can change the contrast, brightness, or the scale, etc. For this demo, I will leave all these parameters with their default values in the Controls tab. It looks like we have done this curtain background, but what we want is a curtain with the logo printed on. Instead of using this as the background curtain, we will use it as the mat. Go to the inspector, open the gradient tab. Change the color red to white. And change the black to gray. Now we have a black and white image. Go to the settings tab, change the composite mode to Luma. Select both the logo and solid red background clips. Right click and choose new compound clip. Give it a name and press create button to confirm. Move the compound clip above the black and white background. Go to the inspector and change the composite mode to foreground. Right away, we have a nice looking red stage curtain with a logo printed on. Add a text title clip to the track below the curtain clips. We can see through the curtain because we used a mat with the Luma mode. In this demo, I want to create a solid stage curtain that can block the image behind. Go to the effects panel, drag a solid color generator, and add to the track between the mat and title clip. Now it becomes a solid curtain. If needed, we can adjust the opacity of the solid color generator to control how much light can get through and convert the curtain between a solid one and a sheer one. Next, we will animate the curtain to create a realistic curtain opening transition and reveal the image behind. Select the logo, matte and solid color clips, right click and create a compound clip. Right click the compound clip and choose Open in Fusion page. Since we will open the curtain from the middle, the first step is to separate the curtain into two parts so that we can work on the animation one side at a time. Select the media in node, press shift space to bring up the tool selection window, search and add a crop node after the media in. Rename the node to left side and press 1 to load into the left side viewer. With the left crop node selected, go to the inspector. Change the X size to 960, and we have an image of only the left half of the curtain. Copy the left side crop node, and paste a new one into the node editor. Rename the new one to right side. Branch out another output line from media in, and connect to the right side node. Drag the right side node into the right viewer. Make sure the new right side node is still selected, go to the inspector. Change X offset to 960, so that we get the right half of the curtain image. 
drag a background node to the editor and merge the right side output with the background node. Drag the left side output and merge to the merge one node. Connect the merge two output to the input of MIDI out node. Make sure both left side and right side are merged as the foreground input. Select the media out node and press 2 to load into the right side viewer. Select the background node and set the background to transparent. Select the merge one node, change the center X to 0.75, which is on the right side of the screen. Select the merge two node, change the center X to 0.25, which is the left side screen. Now the final media out result is made of two parts, the left side and the right side, we can start to work on the opening animations. Select the left side node, press shift space to open the tool selection window, search and add a grid warp node. In the inspector, change magnet type to selected. Set X grid size to 1 and Y grid size to 2. Change subdivisions to 5. Move the playhead to frame 5. In the inspector, right-click the mesh animation label at the bottom and select Animate to enable the keyframes. Move to frame 45, select the three points on the right side and move left to simulate a curtain opening. The top ones travel faster than the bottom ones. While dragging the points, hold the Shift key to lock the moving in horizontal direction only. Press Shift S or right click the middle point in the pop up menu, select Grid Warp 1, Smooth, Vertical. Go to frame 90. To mimic that the curtain bottom keeps moving after the top stopped, shift drag the bottom and middle points to the left until they are a bit past the top position. Press Shift S to smooth the curve. Move the playhead forward to frame 145 where the curtain bottom swings back a bit. Once again, smooth the edge of the middle point. We can also drag the handles to adjust the curve manually. After frame 145, the curtain top starts moving again to left until it's out of the screen at frame 175. Where the lower part of the curtain still remains a little bit visible. Move forward to frame 200, the curtain is now completely open and slide out of the screen entirely. We have now set up the keyframes of a curtain opening. Let's open the spline editor to further smooth the curve. Check the grid change to show the curve in the editor window. Click the Zoom to Fit button to show all keyframe points in the window. Press Ctrl A to select all points and press S to smooth the curve of selected points. Now play the clip. The curtain movement is kind of bouncing instead of elastic when the curtain swings back. Select the keyframe 90, drag the handle to flat the curve so that the curtain slowly reaches the leftmost position and slowly return to the right side. Also flat the curve at frame 145. I think this is not bad now. If we want, we can keep adding and adjusting the keyframes to mimic the moments when a real curtain opens. Now we have done the opening for the left side curtain. We will repeat the same steps to animate the right side curtain to open to the right side. Select the right side node, add another grid warp node. Enable the keyframe at frame 5 when the curtain starts moving. Edit the grid and set keyframes at frame 45. Frame 90. Frame 145. Frame 175. Frame 200. Once the keyframes are added, go to the spline editor. Smooth the curve. Flat the curve at frame 90, 
and 145. Play the clip, we now have completed a curtain opening effect in a fusion composition. Go back to the edit page, play the timeline, we see that a solid stage curtain is opening to reveal the scene in the back. If we want to have a semi-transparent curtain, right-click the curtain clip and select Open in Timeline. Select the solid color clip, go to the inspector. In the Settings tab, set the opacity to zero. Go back to the curtain effect timeline. The curtain is now semi-transparent and we can see through it. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.